Okay, so at this point we have our, our uh, computers pretty much together here. Um, if we can go ahead and uh, just um, quickly show kind of what we're going to finish up with here. We're going to make, basically we're just going to make a couple of connections. Now in a real computer we'd have additional wired connections. We'd have connections coming from the front panel of the computer uh, so you could actually use the power button to turn it on. We'd have connections coming from say like the CPU fan. We might have a power connection coming out of our our video card, but in this example, we're just going to show the basic connections. Okay, these are connections that will be in all computers, um, all desktop computers currently. You know, in the current year. Um, okay, so basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach the the SATA the SATA cables um, to the motherboard. We're also going to go ahead and connect. Um, we're going to go ahead and put the power supply in and connect the power supplies to the power supply to the to the drives, the optical drive and the hard drive, and also the power supply to the motherboard in two locations. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, I'm going to first find the power supplies that I'm going to actually use. Okay, now these are located, um, you can print these out from the instructions, okay, and they're fairly straightforward. All right, there's, um, there's basically a lot of extra connections. So as you go through here, um, this large one is going to be, and I'm just going to mark these with a little piece of tape here, just so I know which know which ones I'm dealing with. Um, okay, so this is the uh, 20, 20 plus four pin uh, connector on this particular power supply. Okay, and if we continue to look through here, uh, this is going to be the four plus four connector. Okay, or an eight pin connector. So on the on the main board, they call it an eight pin connector. On the on the power supply, it's a four plus four. Okay, which makes eight pins, but it will fit. Okay, so those are our two motherboard power supplies. All right. And then we also have an SATA power supply. Okay. So that's um, basically we get we have four of these on the actual um, the power coming out of the power supply, but you can choose any two. Okay. So I'm just going to choose these two. Um, I'm just going to mark these with a piece of tape. You can mark them or not. Um, I'm just doing this because I need to go kind of quickly for the video. Um, okay. So basically, we just have four power connections to do and then two uh, SATA data cables into the motherboard. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna connect my uh, SATA data cables first. Um, you'll notice that the SAT connections are down here, um, basically right here, right in back of the video card. Um, the 24 pin connection uh, is actually behind these, behind the um, RAM right here. So that's the 24 pin connection directly behind the RAM. The uh, eight-pin uh, power connection is right behind uh, your um, your ports back here. So on a regular motherboard, of course, this would all be filled in. But this is the eight-pin connector right here. Okay, you'll notice that when it's referred to in your motherboard documentation, it's um, I think it's J uh, P O W R for J Power or something like that. It looks like J Power uh, one and two. Okay, and then this is SATA 1 through 7 here. Um, okay, so we're just going to kind of represent these connections by connecting the cables to the right locations on the motherboard. Uh, we're just going to be taping them on in the correct locations, okay, because really that's basically all you need to do. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and attach the SATA cables to data cables right down there onto the correct location on the motherboard. Okay, data cable 1 and data cable 2. Up to, it's, a, it's entirely up to you which one goes where, so um, you just need to get them the correct spot on the motherboard. Okay, it's important to know, it's important to be able to read that documentation and kind of look at the pictures and know where things are going to get plugged in. Okay, that's part of the learning process that you're doing here. Okay, we're also going to go ahead and just connect this power supply. side up. Okay. There we go. And notice that the fan doesn't actually match up with anything on the case. Uh, in a real computer, this fan would match up with a, with a vent on the top of the case, but in our case, that is not going to be true. Um, in later versions, it probably will, but don't worry about that for now. Usually, it would match up. Um, 
and basically that's where your power, you'll notice that on the power supply is a power switch on the back of the computer. So now I'm going to locate, in general, you know, if I was building a real computer, I might or might not actually put these in right off the bat. I might actually just uh, connect everything first and then put the power supply in later. Because uh, once you put these cords in, this is what really caused a lot of the, a lot of the, um, uh, it, this is, the cords are really what, uh, the power supply cords coming out into the case really create kind of a mess and a confusing situation. So basically though, on ours, we have our four cord, four that we need right here in a row. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach um, kind of them in order, the bottom ones first. So the first one I'm gonna be connecting is the 24 pin uh, power connector. Okay, so we're gonna take it down right down here, uh, right behind the RAM. We're just gonna connect it right there just so we know that it's right. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and take the 8-pin power connector and connect that uh, directly down here to the correct location. It's a bit of a stretch there, uh, but you'll notice that in a real computer it is also a stretch. So <laughs> okay. Um, connected. Uh, you might need a little bit of extra room. Okay. Um, all right, let's go ahead and connect. Uh, and if you needed a little bit of extra space, you could actually flip this power connector over, or the, the power supply over, um, which would have been fine too. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, connect the SATA cables here. Okay, so that's going to go right on the back of the hard drive. Final cable is our next SATA data cable, or I'm sorry, SATA power cable. It's going to go right on to the back of our optical drive. Okay, now just like in real life, we don't want to leave all these cables flopping all over the place. Uh, we want to make a nice, neat kind of a nice, neat. Um, collection of them back here that we could use later if we needed to. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're just going to use one piece of tape just to kind of collect these all together here. So we're not just flopping all over the place. Okay. And then we just tuck those down into the case just like that. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, that is a completed, uh, all the connections are there and we are done. Uh, with the cabling.